This week's athlete in focus is Carrie Rufer, who gets to come home for World Cup competition in Sacramento. Carrie manages work with her family's Morning Star Company with a stable full of top show jumpers, former stars, and a horse that reminds her to keep everything in perspective. I'm from Sacramento. It's wonderful to have a horse show that's 10 minutes down the road from my farm. I get to spend time with my family and my friends and they can see what I spend my life doing. So it doesn't seem so ridiculous <laughs> that I'm on the road for six months out of the year when they see the amount of effort and just the love that I have for the sport. It's very rewarding to be able to share that with people that are close to me. Morningstar was actually started by my dad years and years and years ago uh, as a tomato processing company. And when I started getting more into the horses, uh, I decided to borrow <laughs> His, his name and his logo. It's been Morningstar Sport Horses from the beginning. It started as a thoroughbred place and then it evolved into a rehabilitation and retirement facility. Uh, we've stopped doing rehab, but we do still have a retirement program, which is great because my dad always asks me when I'm gonna sell my horses and I say never. <laughs> One of the really great things um, that came out of the rehab program here was the concept of ponying horses. We have a, an awesome cast of characters and I have Joey, my cow pony that I absolutely adore. I love being able to get out of the arena, to explore the property, to do some hill work, all without you know the constraints of, of riding them really. So I mean they go out in a halter and they go out um, just three or four times a week. Absolutely love it. It's great for conditioning. It's great because they have that uneven surface that keeps them really fit and sound. So it's a, a wonderful program. I bought my uh, one of my first Grand Prix horses that I got uh, from Alex Duffy and he's fantastic. He's very healthy. He's 22 years old now and just absolutely amazing. I have Georgie Dovre, who's uh, probably my top horse. He's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, he is 13 though, coming 14, still absolutely healthy and, and very fit and, and loves, 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 loves jumping. And then I have Mai Tai, who is just 10 this year and he's just an up and coming horse. He, he always is, is in the ring to fight for you and uh, we have a really special bond. I've had him since he was six. So I, he's the only horse I've really developed myself and, and brought up. So he's kind of one of my, my, proud, my proud little horses. And I have Mr. Europe, uh, who I bought from Mark Hautzager at the end of last year, who's also 10. And he's just absolutely fantastic. We started out in WEF and I took him a little bit slower and did some of the high amateur stuff and we bonded quite a bit. And now he's just an absolute pet. I mean, he, he just loves, loves to come out and play every day. I have loved horses for 31 years now. I started riding when I was three and I rode in these very un, structured environments and I always find it's really great to be able to just kind of come out if you're in shorts or yoga pants or whatever and just hop on bareback and explore and just return to the whole idea of loving the horse for being a horse and letting them be that way. I'm a huge fan of challenges <laughs> and I just think at the top sport it's every day is something new, every day is a new challenge. It makes you rise to a much higher level and I think it's, it's just so wonderful to have that, to constantly challenge myself.